Hello everybody, welcome back for another episode of Ultra Challenge! This time we're going to be tackling the air levels of Chalkin and maybe finally moving on to the terrestrial plane. Good thing it took me five episodes to finally do it. Well, whatever, we're going to tackle the air levels. The Dragonfly King has lived for millions of years. It hails from a prehistoric time when life on Earth was ruled by its king. Now it is trying to- oh, ruled by its kind, never mind. Now it is trying to regain the Earth as its kingdom. Enjoy your time, Dragonfly King, for this is your last day. Bow, 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 bow. Should I just fall and just die? Yeah, I'm gonna fall and die just so I don't have to watch that cutscene over and over and over. I mean, it burns no time. You get infinite tries at a stage, you know. All you lose is time, pretty much. This song is actually the worst. Okay. Wow, you're not- he's not kidding when you have to jump. What the fuck? Okay, how do you not get hit by him? How do you not get hurt? But at the same time, keep scoring hits on him. How do you do it? There's a very specific timing and button command for every little thing. Like, look at this. Look at this. I had to creep forward. And then hit him when he's not chucking rocks. Oh my god, you can't... If you attack him when he's walking back to the platform, you're, you're getting hurt. Like, look how specific this all has to be. Have I said before that Chalkin's design is awesome? I don't know, is Chalkin even the name of the character I'm playing as? Oh, thank you. Finally, he's dead. You know, I don't believe that there is a health restoring potion. Come on! I hate these jumps. I hate these jumps. Okay, and this one, you can just do this. You are beaten by Skeleton Man who... Who holds sword in place. There we go. Maybe you need the air potions to heal yourself. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna save over that because that's just a bunch of tedium. Oh, there's the mallet. Never mind. Okay, so we got the mallet, which is the last weapon you need to attain. But now, it is time to do maze level number seven. Oh, hey, another fire potion. Some ball and chains that you really shouldn't care about. But guess what? You have to care about them because... The developers were fans of... Stupid shit. There you go. Okay. I don't know. This game has, like, a pretty high influence from something like... Doom. Oh, wait. Do you crash, crush these things with the mallet? No. So what do you do after this?
Okay, you attack it with the axe. Okay. So you may as well just have the axe on hand. What's this funky stuff? Oh my god, every time I try to attack these guys, I'm never in correct position. Can I tell you, the most aggravating thing to do in this game is turning around. Seriously. It takes, like, so much effort just to turn. Okay, there we go. So now I have a connecting point for the beginning of the level. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna load the state. There's... I can probably collect that potion and bust through that door without even having to go through that bottom area. Hey, you may as well just do that! There's no reason at all to have to do the other stuff, and you kill these guys. Okay, you know what? If there's a... I don't feel like you can double jump with the axe. My god. These guys are the most coward enemies. They're the most cowardly enemies in all existence. Literally, they just crawl up to your feet and go, eh, eh. They attack at your, they attack at your shins. You're supposed to be honorable soldiers to your king? You know, I'm having really big issues jumping right now. Seriously, keep running off of edges. Are you fucking kidding me? My god, stop running away from me. Everything has input delay in this game. Everything is input delay. Like attacking is the most unreliable thing in the universe. Okay, forget it. I'm gonna start the whole level. I'm gonna start the whole level over. This level's a maze, just like all the other fucking stages in this game are mazes. Just bust the door open. I'm gonna bust my door open because it's starting to get hot. I don't know, maybe it was already hot. And then, oh my god. Can you just duck when I want you to, mister? I don't care who you think you are. Okay. Mr. Skelloman. Listen here, buddy. You're either gonna attack when I ask you to, or you can fuck off. Alright. I feel like I've just... No, I did not arrive at the same place. Did I beat it? I think I just went in a huge circle. So the exit is in the middle. Yeah, okay. That's a fair assumption to make. Are you fucking... These little shits can just attack you as they please. Who's 
another platform. There it is. So I went to the right. I should go to the left this time. Okay, here. I feel like the most treacherous path would be the most correct one. Uh. Oh, actually, I can axe this door open. Can I ask you a question? That joke was not funny. I'm sorry. And if you thought it was funny... Cool? Good for you. Um, I didn't think it was very funny. <sighs> Why have these dead ends here? Why make every level a maze? What's the point? What point are you trying to make? I shouldn't always have to look up the walkthrough. I shouldn't always have to look it up. Like why? Yep. Nope. That's it. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start the level all the way over. I'm gonna look up how you do it. You wanna know why? Because they couldn't be bothered to make levels that were actually levels. Okay. So you go on. So you bust through the door. That's a pulley up there, which you don't want. And then, so the second one. Is the first one? Okay. The second one. You want the second moving platform. Okay. And you go up, and then you go in the middle. Okay, so should, there should be three. And then you ride the middle one all the way up. And then you have to go to the right with the little ledgies. And then go up this platform. Which then will love a flag. And then, and then you find this dude. And then you just go to the side and then whack him in the face with the mallet. Okay. So... Second platform, and then go to the and then go to the middle, and then you find this little lip, and then you have to jump on the lip, and then you find a pulley, and then you go up the thing, and then that should take you to the ogre guy. Okay, all right, figured it out. We figured it out, ladies and gentlemen. Behold, the, some of the worst level design in the friggin' world. <laughs> Good God, were they not even caring of the game they were making? My God, stop chopping me. They're real big fans of the choppies. Which, I mean, no disrespect to Game Grumps. I mean, that's one of my favorite gr Game Grump moments, is, um, choppies. <laughs> oh my god, are you kidding me? Of course, in my haste to make this jump. What the? I got frozen in place! I swear to god I was pushing buttons. I guess not. Okay, now let's equip the mallet. Yeah, equip the mallet. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Talk about a battle of attrition. Maybe you have to be ducking. Okay. There we go. Okay. Just one more level. One more level, and then we're on to the next plane. Good god. So, you go through 12 levels, so then after that, they just make you go through 12 more levels. Alright, how do you hurt this guy? Oh, this is the Dragonfly King.
Okay, I need to kill this enemy that's flying by. Urgh, of course I'd die. Of course I would. Can I make a potion of an attack? Uh... Okay, that's the electro thingy, and that takes two greens. I don't think he gets hurt. Okay, what attack did he use? Or matter of fact, which weapon did he use? He used the grappling hook. Okay. I feel like they would just... Oh, you have to push... Okay, so if you go all the way to the right, he can just be locked into a predictable pattern. Wow, this fucker takes so many... Oh, okay, there's just straight a plus sign. And then you can heal. Okay. So he used the grappling hook. That's the weapon he used. Okay. Make sense to me! Okay, those little things are meant for you to do that. Okay. So I think I need to get blue potion. Which, I can't do that anymore. Okay, it takes two clears. Okay, so I can heal myself. Thank God it took me until the fifth episode to finally learn how the fuck you heal yourself. Uh-uh, I grappled on the thingy. What the fuck? The, the grappling hook is the most specific hitbox. Well, I need to hold the thing straight at first. No! Let me make a jump! Just let me go through! I mean, I'm glad it's just a boss fight and nothing else. I landed straight on the platform and it was just like, no, you didn't. I don't know why the grappling hook would be the preferred weapon for this, but okay. Oh, oh, oh there are grappling hook things. Then why didn't it work the first time? My god! Those ones are broken. They work when they feel like it. Like, I got- I grappled on- I tried grappling on one of them to save my life! And it didn't work. 
then I grapple onto one by complete accident. Like right frickin' there. Like of course by total luck and coincidence I would get it. Are you are you kidding me? Just get hurt. No! Just let me get on a platform and let me heal myself. At least let me use these clear potions to the best of my ability. For for fuck's sake. And then I don't know how you take care of his stupid minions that just keep spawning. You just gotta flail the grappling hook around in vain that he gets hurt. Oh my god. My god, I can't. He has... S Can I tell you, this guy has so much health. He has so much health. Can I do this and he's broken? I can't. Once he starts doing this stupid rush attack, I can't do anything. He has way too much life. What the fuck? I might have broken him. Um, okay. Through my own sheer stupidity, I managed to figure out a way to... Still, I can't- I can't actually kill him. Maybe the swords are better. I'm gonna use the axe because... Oh, the axe is better at doing this. Look at this, I actually have one more potion.
My god, the amount of life he has is just insane! You can't kill him! Oh, okay. I'm just trying to force him to do the stupid rush attack. Wow, he's already doing it. I hate this attack. I hate it. Oh, I should have sat still. I should have just sat still. Oh, I should have just sat still again. Oh! God, how much life does a boss need? Holy shit! Okay, if you just duck. Oh, you can just duck under the rushdown attack. Okay. I'm gonna go down and grab these potions. Aha! So I wasn't actually doing damage. There we go. You deserve much praise. You have done well in clearing the terrestrial plane of all supernatural evil. You must now use the skills you have learned, both mental and physical, to best the challenges ahead. Luck be with you in the elemental plane. Okay, so it is terrest terrestrial and elemental. Okay, well basically, it's the same thing again, there's just different levels. So, here I have absolutely no clue where to start, but you know what, I'm gonna end the episode here, because now I'm in the elemental plane, and I... Or actually, do you just... where do you go? Do you just go through the same doors again? Yeah, I guess you just go through the same doors again. I'm lost. But apparently they give you way less potions. Alright, I guess that we are in the elemental plane. So, next time on the Chalk and Ultra Challenge, I'm gonna figure out how to start up and beat the elemental plane. I'll see you all next time. Only you can prevent forest fires.